أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الكريم Let me begin first of all by thanking the His Excellency the future Commander-in-Chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces for the person of General Hayat It's a prayer uh, Really the citation uh, is a bit intimidating but let me assure you it's a bubble yes. <laughs> You cannot pick anything out of it uh, I'm highly delighted to be here and have an opportunity at least to have an audience who's a field work because that's what I actually call it, a field work Dr. Ahmad Abubakar Gumi. I expect the MC to, to give him this credit because he's the only person that leaves his comfort zone and went to the war theater and the advocate for this. He is really, you know, worthy to be commended upon this noble task. May God keep encouraging him and produce more people like him, especially among the youth, so that the peace, tranquility, security can be sustained in this our country. Uh, ideally, I intend to write a paper, but having seen the presenter, I said no, because I don't have the statistics. I have not been to the field. I have no raw data upon which I can analyze and come up with a policy input. But I believe that, as it is being said, there are so many ways to kill a rat. Just Malam has excavated or rather explore another means of dealing with this bandit that is sending the clergymen and preaching for them. What will last be the Rebecca Billy Hikima or Moisa Hassan? This is still practicable till the end of this war. I bought this idea and I will advocate for it. When I, when I received this invitation, I said, these guys are youth. They don't have instrument of coercion. They are not in control of any government. They are not members of the powers that be. What am I going to tell them? Am I going to talk from the military perspective? or from the operational order, or what? I asked myself. Then I said, fine, I have a solution. As a student of culture, we all know that our cultural, our definition of culture and the mode of our social intercourse define how we live. So I said, let me just tell our team in you, the undergraduate uh, social scientist, that let's begin with ourselves. Because all this issue we are talking about, most of it is a, is a curative mechanism we are all propagate. But for now, to me, what should be fundamental is to have a preventive mechanism 
upon which all these sorts of social biases could be reduced, mitigated, the level of recruitment of our youth should be reduced to the minimum. And how does that, how can we do it? I believe in the next five, six years, almost all of these four, the men will be married and will have a baby working around. Start from there. Uh, Abbasid al Kairawani in his magnum opus, uh, it's a Maliki book of uh, jurisprudence, he said, Arjal Ulubi Malam is the The most wanted heart, the most deserving heart is the one that is not being taken away, being pulled by bad, by evils and by vices. If you taught your children to love peace, they will definitely despise conflict. So, if we go into this introductory part of the Risala, we will see that the way we are going to produce the future generation will definitely be face to face with the current situation we are in. We don't have the instrument of coercion. We cannot control anyone. So what can you do? Do it at your own level. It is from microcosm that we transform into a macro level. So this is one of the things that I thought should be, you know, inculcated. We shouldn't, we should stop from uh, blame game, blame game. Yes, somebody like Doctor has his reason to blame some institutions because he's been to the field and other things like that. But you don't have it. Do it yourself. One of these Arabists was saying, Yes. That is to say, we blame our time. And the blame is on us. Our time has no no openness than ourselves. We are the makers and destroyers. So if we get it destroyed, let us know that we are the one who destroyed it. So I say, uh, I wrote a little piece and I entitled it Communal Responsibility and the challenges of insecurity in Nigeria. I revisit most of the things that happened in the past that really uh, promote people coexistence. Things like vigilance. In those days, there was vigilance. If a stranger comes to this place, he will be asked from where? What do you want? What do you cook for? If he's a butcher, he will be sent to Sarkin Power. If he's a blacksmith, he will be sent to Sarkin Kira. Who will verify more on him and make use of his talent to not be idle in the society. You know, absence makes heart grow poor. If nothing preoccupies your mind, definitely you will deviate. So, so the society in those days did not allow immigrants to stay idle, did not allow anything that will deal or that will tempt us their peaceful coexistence. So I talk about that. I talk about community ownership. There was, there was a popular adage in the past that Anakuan, this brought this really uh, help in bringing peaceful society. Why I said this is because nowadays my son is my son. Your son is not my son. And you don't know that my son is a friend to your son. Definitely your son will have an 
influence over my soul. So to go back to that philosophy, Banakua, if you see any child misbehaving on the street, deal with him. Correct him. Scold him. Make him do the right thing. So to revise my objective of my paper for you to have the real understanding of that. I'm not using a case study. I'm not presenting a result of a vigorous research work. I'm just telling you some of the tips that will help prevent this unwanted behavior in the future, which we all have control of. Definitely, just like uh, the data referred to me about the issue of uh, justice sector, and that was what is in my, in my conclusion. I said in that beginning, that when he said it, I said, okay, maybe I should start from the conclusion down to the introduction. But I, the fact that the, the president-to-be gave me only 10 minutes, so I now change. I said, I will not even present the paper, but I will highlight on these basic tips, which I believe are practicable are applicable and are really effective up to this present moment. So the issue of there is one very popular uh, statement made by Martin Luther King Jr. He said, peace is not the absence of conflict, but the presence of justice. So that's what that said. And in my, if I can uh, read my conclusion, I say my emphasis is sorry, I'm still young but my eyes are a little bit <laughs> yes. my, my emphasis is on collective responsibility in ensuring peace and security in Nigeria where I have collected the past experiences for our use to adapt and for the government side let me use the Martin Luther King Jr. statement. Peace is not the absence of public, the president of the world. This is to further encourage, encourage the powers that be to provide justice and an enabling environment for the sustenance and peace, for the sustenance of peace and security in our beloved country. And uh, with this, uh, because I'm given only 10 minutes, I have some job which I initially decided to, to browse upon that. I suppose uh, this little thing that I shared with you will definitely be going to be useful in your future life, in your future endeavor, and in your future aspiration as president, senate president, future leaders of this country. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Can we give them a big round of applause? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have received so many petitions from people that we did not give them.